hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we'll be looking into a react base image compressor so before starting off with this video i'd like you to go through the basics of react uh, before jumping onto this so if you want to get started with the basics of react i have some videos to, uh, where i've shown uh, how you can create a to-do list app or a profile page from scratch using react so uh, I'd, I'd like to I'd recommend you to watch those videos because I've shown from scratch how you can get started with react and what all the dependencies are required for one so uh, this is a basic simple uh, react app where uh, an image high resolution image is compressed into a low resolution image using react so over here uh, as I've mentioned in my previous videos how uh, to get started with react and how uh, you can use a component to uh, use it into your main app right so the library or the module or the package which we are using for this video is uh, image browser image compression so let's go through the uh, npm package and how you can install it within your app react app so this is the package and uh, as you can see this provides you the entire documentation of it how you can uh, use it and integrate it with your application it also provides api and uh, all the necessary things required for uh, offline image compression so by the way it is an offline image compression you don't require internet uh, for this so this is a good package to get started with uh, uh, understanding react and this uh, example is also provided in the reacts official documentation site where you can see the examples so one of the examples they have provided over here is of an image uh, compression application which is this i've just modified it a bit and uh, uh, explained you how you can get started with this so uh, the first step uh, is this is the vs code which i'm using uh, if you want to know uh, and uh, for react to run you need node to in node to be installed on your system so um, the first command which you usually hit to get started with uh, react is npx create react app in your project's name you can either create, uh, you can either use that, or you can uh, uh, clone the repo, which I will provide you for this in the description. So you just need to clone this repo and uh, hit npm i. So all the dependencies, including the browser image compression, will be installed, uh, and the app will be ready to go. So the link for this code will be available in the description. Hit npm i and get started with npm start. Right. So the first thing which we are going to look at is package JSON. So these are the dependencies and the browser image compression is also installed properly. Right. Now let's go into the source folder. And within that source folder we'll be looking into the components folder so the usually what I do is and usually what people do is uh, create a components folder and mention all of your components which you are going to use in your react app within that folder so for this application we, we are only going to use a single component which is this one and the code is uh, self explanatory but I'll still go through it uh, this is uh, how you can import react this is how you can import uh, the module which we are going to use for image compression and this is the class component which will be exported to the app.js as you can see over here so basically uh, this is the handler uh, which handles uh, the upload part of your URL so basic uh, so if I show you the demo of this it will be more clear right so let's open the terminal and uh, 
npm stop q is not defined oh, let me check uh, okay sorry for this one so as you can see this is the image compressor uh, this is the image just uh, image used to show the upload uh, uh, kind of a feature uh, which will be over here so this is the url which will do that but it is just a simple image to define that this is a part where you upload and this is a part where you download and uh, let's select an image so this is how you show this is and this is how the image uh, gets to your uh, application once you select it and you hit the compress button and this is a compressed image so after that you can download it and let's compare the size of it right so let's go into downloads and uh, see so this is a compressed image and this is the original image so the original image is about uh, a 2 mb right uh, and this image is about 500 kb right about 500 kb so so as you're seeing the result it and the result is uh, pretty much clear and uh, it basically converts a high resolution image into a low resolution offline so, so now let's get back to the code this is uh, basically the image of the upload and uh, upload symbol and this uh, uh, handles the upload part of the image so once you click the upload option and if you want your uh, uh, image to get uploaded on the application so this basically handles that this basically handles the state of that image once the compressor button is hit now uh, what will this a uh, click event do now this click event is binded to the compressor button as uh, you can see this is a bind event with this button and what it will do is that it will take the image the original image and convert it into a specific format with the height of uh, 800 and uh, it will take the parameter as maximum of 2 MB so the original image uh, size should be maximum about 2 mb if it exceeds like 3 or 4 it will not take and uh, it will look for that uh, maximum mb and this basically handles that and after the conversion of uh, the image it will provide a promise so this is the render part of it and this is the bootstrap card which we have uh, selected and uh, see again this is the part where you are showing again the upload symbol which is this one the states are not maintained exactly but if you refresh it uh, it will get back to its original state and these are those upload image uh, upload symbols And this is uh, this is a bunch of bootstrap used for uh, demonstrating the uh, di uh, divisions and things like that. This is the compress uh, compress button, and uh, this is again the uh, download h tag. It is binded to this on click event. If clicked and compress image or download image stuff like that and uh, yep this was it basically uh, it is all event based once you upload an image this has a event handler then you just uh, click on this it will select 
this has an event handler on click it compresses the image takes the original image and converts it into a predefined uh, a set of uh, resolution and size of that image and once that is converted so all these parameters are mentioned within this so you can explore this so what is the maximum number of size you want the image to be what is the width and order of it etc so you can go through this it will help you to explore this and try to find out new different ways of doing it and uh, this also has an event handler yeah uh, so this was it uh, for this video now this uh, component is exported in app.js nothing else so yep this was it for this video guys if you have any concerns queries and questions regarding this entire thing uh, please comment down below and uh, and uh, the code will code for this will be available in the description and all the necessary uh, documentation regarding this will be also available in the description so do check that out and uh, yep this was it and thanks for watching